Okay, I'm on the side side drive. Civic residences. You want to reserve something? You want to live someplace? That's it. What's up? Uh, hair place here. Manicure, pedicure. They got a spa, massage. We're here. This bar here. Hot dogs. Everybody loves hot dogs. And then Apalak Resto Bar. What they got here is right next to the American Legion. So if you want some sea log, this is a good place to come. Good staff. Hello. Good evening. Yeah, that's fine. That's the way it looks inside. Really nice. It's right next to American Legion. They close at 6, so when they close, you can come over here to Opalog, if I'm saying that right. And they got a good little bar here, everything. So come check it out. This is Jenny from Opalog. Is that Apolog. the way? Uh, Opalog. They're right next restaurant. They're right next to the uh, American Legion, Post 4, on my side side drive. And I want to ask her a few questions to find out more about this place. The food is good. The scenery is great. They have karaoke, but I'll let her tell you more about that. But for now, just enjoy the video, and I'll turn it over here to some questions for Jenny. Hello, Jenny. How are you? I'm doing good. Great. So, how long have you worked at Aquabog, right? I started, I started working here last November 2020. Oh, okay. So November 20. Here for uh, one year, more than one year. Okay, well that's good. So how do you like it? I like the place, of course. Uh, as you can see, the ambience is very good during nighttime, daytime. It's it's more uh, like an open air also, just yeah. right for the you know the fresh. During the COVID time. Yes, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the menu here, what you serve? Yeah, we serve basically a breakfast food, so we call it like all day breakfast, silog meals. Okay. <laughs> so, and also we serve um, beers, and yeah, that's, that's all. Okay, so what, I know earlier I had some C -C. sea cigs. This yeah. video last night, uh -huh. street food around the mall, yeah. and I said my favorite food so you have it, and I thought the seasick here was really, really good. Thank you. It had just a, I could even stand more spice, but it had just enough for the regular person that it doesn't overwhelm them. So I thought it was really good, and I believe my meal came with uh, a rice that had taste in it. It was really good. Thank you. It had a pickle stuff. Maybe you can elaborate, and uh, it came with the iced tea. Is that correct? Yes, it came with iced tea and soup. Okay, and soup. And the soup was really good. It's like clear broth, but it's still just good. Thank I liked you. it. Thank you. So, can you tell me what the pickle stuff is at? It's called papaya. Pickled papaya. Okay, pickled papaya. I've had it. Okay. With raisins and carrots. Raisins and carrots. Yeah. Right? Yes. Oh. Okay. But we call it achara. Achala. Achara. Again? Achara. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure I catch you correctly. And uh, I thought it was really deal, a really good deal. Uh, I believe it was 120 pesos. Is that right? 95 for the sisig meal. That's it. 95. 95 pesos. It's unlimited that's rice. It. That's that's it. <laughs> unlimited rice. Oh my God! Yeah. Can you beat that anywhere? Yeah. 95 <laughs> pesos. So I'm telling you now. You heard it here. And from Jenny, and from George, come here, try this place out. You can't beat a meal that gives you what I just got for 95 pesos, unlimited rice. And this is not a knock, but you know how Filipinos love their rice. I'm trying to lay off because it's uh, it's uh, fattening for me. 
Oh yeah. So I'm trying to lay off. <laughs> so I only you, but the rice was so good. Thank I ate you. everything they gave me. Yeah. That's okay. why we have we have like a menu like our motto is sarap. Sulit oh, it is a lot. Maserat, maserat. It's Sulit. good. Sulit. Because of the price, we, we have a very affordable price. Yes, it is. And busog means that you're going to be full because we, ha we serve unlimited rice here. Oh, okay, okay. So, <coughs> excuse me. What can you tell me that's special about this place that you would come here versus going down the street somewhere. Of course, we are friendly here, as you can see. <laughs> we have a oh, she's, they're all very friendly. Not yeah, just friendly, any, we have everybody a, is friendly. Yeah, thank you, sir. We have a very good customer service, and of course, the food is very good and affordable price at the same time. And our ambience. Yeah, the ambience is great. I mean, you'll see on this video as we go through it, I'm showing you what they got. So can you tell me about, I know you've been shut down a little bit because of level three. So under level two, which is today, I believe. Yes. What is different here? Is anything different between the level three and oh, level we, two? We're gonna be tell me. We're going to be opening our karaoke suite because it's it's okay to open the karaoke. Okay. So probably by tomorrow, we will open the karaoke. So you can sing for free. <laughs> so is that every day or what day? Every day. Okay, what time are you available for karaoke? Actually, 5 p.m. will do. 5 p.m. onwards. Okay, 5, 5, p.m. 5 p.m. onwards. Okay, and what time do you normally close? We close at the, around 9 o'clock, but since you are having fun and drinking some beers, we are You'll stay open late. Yeah. Is there a curfew or anything? Right now, the curfew is like 12 midnight, I guess. 12 midnight? Yes. Is that still going on or did it change? Do you know? I think no. You don't think nothing. <laughs> so anyway, you're you're available for customers till 12 midnight if they want to stay. Is that yeah. right? Our, but our last call is 9 o'clock in the evening. So what, you can what, or what 9 o'clock in the evening. 9 o'clock. Yeah. At 9 o'clock, if you want to stay longer, you can order. What do you have? Do you have buckets? Or you just yes, say, we have buckets. Or you just say, I want eight beers or eight drinks or yeah, whatever. We have buckets. It comes with six beers and an appetizer. Okay, so how much is that? Uh, for the Red Horse is 550 for the mixed beers, which is the San Miguel Light and San Miguel Apple. It's for uh, 500 pesos. 500, okay. Yeah. And for the San Miguel Light alone, and, or San Miguel Apple alone, is 480 pesos. Okay, so how much is a single beer? Can you go single. through that for them? Yeah, San Miguel Light is 70 pesos. And we also serve Pale Pilsen, 75 pesos. Red Horse is 80 pesos. Okay. So if I wanted to come in, I don't drink alcohol, and I wanted a soda or a juice, what do you have to offer customers? Uh, we have an iced tea glass. We also have uh, Coca-Cola products. Okay. Yeah, that's so what's that, Sprite? Sprite, Sprite Coke? Coke Royal. Okay, Royal, okay. So you have those, and how much are those again? I'm sorry. How much? For the beers? No, for the, for for the, the soda. sodas. It's me small size, so that's 20 pesos. Okay, so how much for the iced tea? Iced glass is If 20. I just came in and asked for iced tea. Iced tea glass, that's 25 pesos. Oh, okay. That's why I want to know, so they know how much you charge. <laughs> it's good that I remember it. <laughs> okay, well, you're good. That's why I picked you to do this video. Because yeah. I know you're going to know everything. Yes, yeah, sir. So, that's why. So, Jenny is a good one. That's why I picked her. I think she knows this place very well. She's very smart. As you can see, she's very attractive. No. Are you married or single? Are you married or single? I am a single, but into a relationship right now. In a relationship. Do you have kids? I won't get too personal, but... Oh, uh, yeah. I'm proud to have a kid right now. Just one. Okay. But that's, I'm happy. That's fine. I don't want to get too personal. I'm just asking general questions. But I think people want to know that because you're so personable and so likable, they want to know you. So I wish they wanted to know me that much, but most people don't because I'm not that very personal. But you are a very personal person. So I, I hope people will come in here. And can you say the name of the restaurant for me correctly? Because I know I chop it up. What's the name of the restaurant? Apollo Resto Bar. Uh, it's Resto Bar, right? Yes. Okay. Apollo. Okay. And it's right next to American Legion. What do you call it? A place across the street? It's like Kong? Kong's Rest. Kong's Hotel. And they've been here a long time, right? Yes. I think it's like 40 
Yeah, 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 yeah. A long time. So that's good. But anyway, this is Jenny. This is Apollo. And I just want to show you this. So if you're in in uh, a long ago, please come by here. Give me your business. They will appreciate it. Like she said, Jenny said, they have great service. I wouldn't be interviewing them if they didn't. <laughs> they have great food. I've tasted it. And they even have my favorite seasick. So if you're in the area, please come by here. You can't beat the price. You can't beat the service. I think it's top notch of most places I go to. And so you can't go wrong with Apollo. So I want to thank Jenny. Thank you also. And is there anything else you want to say to the viewers out there before I leave? Yeah, come and visit Apollo. We are my team. Our team is waiting for you. Okay, and there you go. So we'll thank give you, you the very best much. service that we have. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And I promise you can't go wrong here. Thank you for your time. Take care.